Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianco with Be Light Transformative Therapy. And today I want to ask the question, does more breathing equate to more oxygen? Let's take a look. Do you think that breathing more helps to oxygenate your system better? Well, what are we even talking about here? When I say more breathing, I mean either big breaths, or really fast breaths. Do you think that those oxygenate the system better than if I were to breathe like this? And when I say oxygenate the system, what am I really talking about there? There's sort of two separate parts to that, right? One part is about how much oxygen am I taking into the blood? And the other part is how much of that oxygen that is in the blood is actually getting distributed around the body to the tissues and the organs. The fact is most healthy adults have a blood oxygen saturation level between 95 and 99%. That's almost full saturation. The oxygen is in there, folks. But the question is, is that oxygen actually able to get to the places where it needs to get in order to adequately fuel your body? I want to introduce this concept of over-breathing to you. I think as a culture, we're all sort of on the same page about the concept of overeating, meaning taking in more calories than what is required metabolically. And I think we have some sense that there are negative consequences to our health when we overeat chronically long term, right? I would like to invite you to start thinking about your breathing in this same way, meaning there's such a thing as over breathing or breathing too much meaning breathing more than what is required metabolically. So what does that look like? Well, at rest, it looks like or I'm exaggerating a bit, but I think you get the point. It manifests as fast, shallow, upper chest breathing, meaning taking in more breaths per minute than what is required or taking in more air per breath than what is required, or both. Now, there are some therapeutic breathing techniques that look very similar to what I just demonstrated. So are those bad? No, I'm not talking about consciously choosing to breathe this way for 15 minutes or a half hour or an hour once in a while. I'm talking about a chronic pattern of overbreathing that can lead to potential long-term health consequences. So what are some of the potential long-term health consequences of chronic overbreathing? Well, first, doesn't this just look stressful? Well, it is. When we breathe fast and shallow like that, it's way more stimulating to our sympathetic response, leaving us stuck in this low-grade continual stress response. In the immediate, that translates to chronic stress, anxiety, mood disorders, emotional irritability, poor sleep, fatigue, poor digestion, increased risk of injury, a lower pain tolerance, a suppressed immune response, difficulty healing, poor focus, compromised performance, and a general lack of resilience. Breathing like this is just super inefficient. Remember the video I just made recently talking about the importance of optimizing alveolar ventilation and perfusion for optimal oxygen uptake and gas exchange? Well, breathing like this is doing the exact opposite of optimizing gas exchange. It's using up a ton of energy and it's not even getting air and blood to those little alveoli where gas exchange actually happens. It's a total waste. And then lastly, because that way of breathing is causing us to blow CO2 off so prolifically and so quickly, over time, it starts to diminish our baseline CO2 levels, 
making us extra sensitive to CO2 and keeping us stuck in this state of chronic hyperventilation and anxiety. I've made videos about this in the past, which I'll be sure to link to in the video description. When CO2 doesn't have sufficient time to elevate in the blood, oxygen doesn't readily leave the red blood cells in order to enter the tissues and organs for nourishment. Which brings us back to our distribution problem. Chronic overbreathing prevents sufficient oxygen from leaving the bloodstream to enter the tissues and organs, which means you're sacrificing getting sufficient oxygen to the places in your body where you need it most. So the bottom line is more breathing does not equate to more oxygen or better oxygenation. In fact, on the whole, especially during rest and during sleep, Slow, deep, light breathing is the most efficient way to take oxygen into the body and distribute it around the body. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out my totally free Breath Basics 6 Day Challenge, my next 4 week breath boot camp, which starts in March, and I'm offering my YouTube viewers 20% off with code BOOTCAMP20. You just use that at checkout. And then also be sure to check out my private online Be Light community. And lastly, if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.